Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to the pitching portion of my hard style kick tutorial series. Now, if you want to learn how to make a whole kick from scratch, then I definitely recommend you go and watch this tutorial series from the beginning. But if you just want to learn how to pitch your kicks, then this is the video for you. So pitching your kicks isn't really that hard of a thing to do, but you do have to find the right way to do it. And so in this video, I'll be showing you all that. So how you want to pitch your kick is you first you want to separate the base tail from the talk. And to do that, you just use you know, um, a volume envelope, or if you prefer, you could have it in the playlist and use um, you know the slice tool to cut between the talk and the tail. But I like to do it in the step sequencer, so I use the envelope. And you, know, you want to have it pretty instant, unless you like how it sounds, uh, to crossfade. And so it holds at the top here for a while, and then it instantly decays to nothing. And that will allow you to isolate the, just the talk. And then I'm going to clone the channel, and I'm going to copy the hold value, and paste that value on the delay knob. And then what I want to do is put the sustain all the way up. So now I have my talk and then the kick. And if I play them together, you can hear it's the full sound. Now there are many ways uh, that you could pitch this kick sound, but a lot of them really just don't sound all that good. So. I'm going to put this on automatic and pitch it up by 300 cents. And you know, that it doesn't sound as good. And it becomes especially apparent uh, if you're using a kick that has more character in the high end. So I'm going to do auto pitching technique and I'll pitch it up by 500 cents. Anyway, that just sounds, it sounds really bad. Uh, so the technique that I like to use is I like to pitch it in the piano roll. And, you know, this is going to change the length of the sample. That's the only problem with that. But what you can do is select the monophonic time stretching mode, and then change the time stretch multiplicator. And if I'm pitching up, I'm going to increase the value. If I'm pitching down, I'm going to decrease it. And well, let's see, I've pitched up. I've pitched up about halfway, so I want to increase this to about 150%, a little bit less. And now you can hear it keeps the original character of the kick. And you know, it keeps uh, the same amount of bass, it keeps everything. And I'll show you with this example as well. So, remember how the auto pitch sounded, pitching it up 500 cents. It, it doesn't sound as good as it does resampled, but when I change it to monophonic and then increase the time, you know, it keeps that same character really well. So, 
you know, that's the method that I really like to use. It's been the most consistently good method that I've found because, you know, sometimes the other methods do produce a good result, but I've really found that pitching it in the piano roll and then using the monophonic stretching method and adjusting the time stretch multiplicator to be the best way of pitching kick samples. Now, if you don't use FL Studio, I'm sure there's a way that you can do this in your DAW, but um, you know, I only use FL Studio and I found this method and I haven't needed to use any other method. But, you know, um, hopefully you should be able to find a way that works in your DAW. If not, you could download the demo of FL Studio and, you know, just use it for pitching your kicks. But yeah, that's the way that you really want to pitch your kicks. Now, there is another method. Of pitching your kicks that I should just kind of tell you about real quick. And, you know, this is kind of for the lazy person, I guess. Um, but the only problem is it doesn't work if you're pitching up by a decent amount, um, unless you have a really long kick. So you might use this method if you have really long kicks or if you're just pitching it down. And you know, what you do is just use a slide note and so that way, you know, your talk starts at the same pitch and then, you know, it naturally slides down as, you know, your normal kick sample would because your kick pitches down to get the kick sound. So it naturally slides down into the new tone. And you can do this going up as well. But you can hear it shortens the kick quite a bit. So, you know, it's not really desirable to use it for pitching up unless you have a very long kick tail. And you just want to adjust it so that it sounds the most natural. You know, um, you just play with the length of the slide note and then the position of it as well. So that's how you can pitch your hard style kicks. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.